last video we have seen the darwin designer now in this video we are going to see how to use queries uh, and how to run queries for our distribution network to get maximum output and uh, minimize our designing time so let's start the video first you will get the query in view option here you will see the queries click on that and query table will be open okay there are many tools over here first you will see the network in this query you can choose the elements from the network suppose all boundary nodes see there is one boundary node which is our OHT then if you want to select only pipe here you will see there is one query for all pipes which will select the all the pipes from the network then we have all the junctions if you want to select all the junctions we have all the junctions here then we have all the tanks which is only one tank all the consumer meter then all the SCADA element if you want to select all the elements from layout here you can select all the layouts all the isolation walls from the network which gives you the edge when if you want to make selection sets okay after that we have the network review uh, this is very important tool which will help you to minimize your uh, designing time and help you throughout the design first in network review we have node in close proximity okay uh, by this query you will get the nodes uh, which you will put the tolerance level okay so here you can see all the uh, elements are here I choose junction and if I choose the tolerance like 3 so it will select the all the junction within 3 meter radius so there are uh, not a single uh, junction which is closer to 3 meter radius so I will give tolerance of 10 meter it will choose the here you can see four junctions are the closer to each other in 10 meter radius okay here you can choose from it if you want to then make changes you can make changes then click on that again you will see this junction has removed and this is added next is crossing pipes crossing pipes choose the if you have selection sets I will choose all the links and click on ok it will give the any pipes are crossing it will show you the result here you can see these pipes are crossing so uh, by using this query you can either junction on that crossing pipe or you simply reduce the pipe okay this is the benefit of query then we have orphan nodes it will choose all the nodes which is not connected to the network so click on that and you will get the orphan nodes here you will see these are the nodes are not connected by the network sometimes you make the network and delete some pipes but uh, the junctions are not deleted so your when you validate you will get the some 
queries okay node is not connected to the junction or your tank so by using this query you can identify all the nodes in seconds okay click on that and just delete so all the orphan nodes would be delete then we have orphan custom meters customer meter you will see these are the customer meter and when we delete orphan nodes here you will see these are uh, the consumer meter which is showing as orphan consumer meter okay by clicking on that you can delete the consumer meter it also put in orphan nodes so when i delete orphan nodes it get deleted by the uh, consumer meter as well so i choose consumer meter and click on delete okay then orphans kada element i will choose kada element and delete then orphan isolation walls you can delete as well so although isolation uh, elements or orphan elements get deleted by these options then we have dead end nodes it will choose the all the dead end nodes within the network uh, uh, this option will help you in gravity mains or feeder mains in water supply system which we need to design uh, ost and pipelines uh, for the feeder okay so then we have dead end junctions okay uh, these two options are quite similar you will see if you choose dead end node and dead end junction it wouldn't change anything but there is slightly one change which is uh, dead end nodes it means it will choose the, all the nodes including the uh, ost reservoir or la any other elements attached to the system and dead end junction will choose only junctions which not include uh, ost or any hydrant or reservoir okay then we have pipe split candidate so if you have tolerance level of 2 it will show you the any pipe split candidate it means if you have for example this type of pipe okay you can see the pipe is not connected to the junction or junction is not connected to the pipe so this is the isolation pipe over here so then you generate a uh, model you will get many uh, pipe something like this so by using this pipe split candidate you can identify all the missing nodes or missing pipes clicking on that you will see the junction is highlighted then you can just move and connect it to the pipe okay this uh, is very important tool then we have pipe missing nodes there are not any pipe missing nodes then we have duplicate pipe okay here you can see by clicking on that we get the duplicate pipe while designing you will not uh, get the uh, understanding of any duplicate pipe uh, present in the network because if you have in a big network it is hard to rectify the mistake so by using that you can identify the duplicate pipe so i will just click on duplicate pipe and delete all those so all the pipe get deleted then we have a uh, final elision isolated element okay these are the initially isolated element which has been rectified and you can delete by using that delete button this is the your 
network identification uh, query from network review and network so these are the very important uh, queries you need to understand and need to use properly okay that's it for now in next video we will see the network trace which is also very important um, query and custom query so thank you all guys we will meet in next video